Hey guys, Random Ranger here. If you're new to the channel, I make cosplay related tutorials, videos, and other shenanigans. Today, we're going to be making a cube, which is a deceptively easy thing to make. Uh, if, well, you could just put a few pieces of foam together, but the hard part is getting your seams to be invisible. So if you want to figure out the secret to that, go ahead and continue watching. Okay, so one of the most important parts of getting clean seams is making sure that your blade is nice and sharp. So I've put on a rather dull blade to show you what you are looking for to avoid. So if I just grab this a piece of scrap right here, you can see that if I just try to pull this blade, it kind of pulls the foam with it. It makes like this indent right here. Additionally, while I'm cutting it, you can also it also has more of an audible noise. And it requires a lot more force to pull and you can see I didn't actually I was really trying to cut and I didn't even make it to the other side. Now if I finish making this cut. Ugh. And we look inside here. This is actually a super rough cut. This is really bad. You don't, you wouldn't want to use this. Or if you had to, you'd want to dremel that smooth. But if I simply swap this out, for a fresh blade. Then you can see that this does a much better job just slicing through. Much less audio. And if I look inside there, look how much cleaner that is. That's what you want right there. So if we just do a side-by-side -side comparison of these cuts, the difference between a full bl uh, fresh blade and a dull blade is astounding. Now, if I take this dull blade and I sharpen it, It'll cut better. I still have to use a lot more force than the fresh blade. And you can hear it. That, now it's cutting into my table, but I have to press that hard just to get it to cut. And you can see it makes a decent cut, but I had to put a lot more work into it. And this top edge is a little rougher. If you look at the very, the very top along here. This is a lot cleaner than this is. And, these t and those edges are very important. You wanna make sure those are good. There we go. Now there's actually a lot of steps here that are gonna to have to take place in order to get this cut very well. We're going to use our metal edge here to make sure that we cut in a straight line and since we're trying to go for absolutely perfect, I'm actually gonna swap this blade over to a brand new blade. So I made a couple cuts earlier. Here we go. Let's just put this on. Now what I'm going to do is, let me angle this for the camera, is I'm going to pull my blade because I find pulling your blade gets a lot cleaner cut than pushing it. And I'm also going to angle my blade at a bevel because if you make your first cut a bevel instead of making some sort of cut and then cutting it down or dremeling it down, that you'll get a sharper edge and a cleaner well cut that way. And I'm also going to 
So I, in order to make this cube, I need this to be at least, or, or I need this to be 45 degrees, I'm gonna do it perfect. However, it's gonna be really hard to get perfectly at 45 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to go just a little bit past 45 degrees because I know I'll be able to reinforce this later using shoe goo, and that shoe goo will be able to fill in that gap and make sure it's strong to accommodate for the less surface contact on the inside seam. So here we go, I'm just gonna line this up as perfectly as I can. I'm going to put my blade in beyond my template because I wanna come in with a clean cut. I'm gonna push that down and I wanna make sure that the actual edge of the blade is being um, pulled along the foam. I don't wanna use the very edge of this because that's not, I find it, if you use the, co the corner of your craft blade, it's not a, it's not a good cut. Then I'm gonna try to get at least 45 degrees and I'm just gonna pull this along my ruler. And there we go, we've got a cut. Now I'm actually a little bit off right here. My cut is right here, but my template was right here. So I was, my ruler must have moved or something. Well, let's keep going. We might be able to work around that. One thing I also like to do is I want to I want I like using as much of this blade edge as possible because I, I believe the more of the blade edge you use, the less foam every spot on the blade has to cut. And so while you're cutting, since you're using more of the blade, if the cutting is or the doling of the blade is being more distributed, and so your blades last just a little bit longer. I don't have objective data to back that up, but that's what my gut tells me is true. But now if we can pull this out, and we've got an, a nice square here. All right, so now we're gonna dremel these edges down just to, this helps reduce um, wavy lines if your cut wasn't perfectly straight, or if you had a little bit like right here where you have just a little bit of your mark, your template mark, you can dremel down to that so that that goes away and you get the ed that edge perfect. Normally I like to do my dremeling with a 600 grit sandpaper. However, I still can't find the gosh darn things. I think I'm gonna have to buy some more. But in the meantime, uh, here's a little trick I learned from Smelms. If you just don't use sandpaper and you just use the rubber of the thing, it can also do a pretty decent job smoothing out foam. So here we go. I'm gonna use a medium to low speed. And then I'm just gonna go in the same, I'm gonna go in the same direction that it spins. So that I'm gonna go this way. And that's because I don't wanna pull against it. I wanna be doing light smoothing motions. I don't wanna be, I'm not trying to uh, get aggressive with this phone. I'm not looking to remove material. Being careful not to go over the edge any more than I need to. Okay, once it's all dremeled, you're, we're gonna wanna hit this with a heat gun. And we do this because it helps smooth out this finish, really tighten up all the details. And it'll get this edge to be as sharp as it can, and then it'll expose any imperfections that we may have yet. I think it also does a better job uh, since, it, since it's sealing it, I think the barge cement also holds onto it better. Okay, there we go, we've got our square. If you really zoom in, Along this edge, there are small little hairs. And I like to, when I'm going for a perfect edge, I like to just carefully trim these off.
And there's still a little bit there. But I like to get carefully get get those off because I find I believe it just gives a even cleaner edge just by the slightest amount. This uh, this was coined to the term uh, trimming the hairs off the spider's butt by uh, Master Cole. So I think that's funny. All right, now that we have this though, we just need at least five, four more of these in order to make a five faces of a cube with, you know, with one open edge. So let's just go ahead and create that real quick. Okay, this is the most important part. When we put this together, we want to get real close and get it as accurate as we possibly can. Okay, and then we're not gonna close this right away. Barge is strong enough to hold just that little bit. We want it to fall naturally into place. So I'm gonna grab another piece. I'm gonna line it up on the corner here. Now we bring this all together and hope that our angles are doubled enough. And I'm holding it out of the way so I don't accidentally seal it onto something I don't want to seal it onto. There we go, invisible seams. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found these tricks useful or if you've got your own tricks 
that you would like to share. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'm always looking for more tips and tricks that I can use in my own work and then perhaps share with you guys. Uh, but that's all I've got. If you guys make a cube, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Uh, I'm thinking I might paint this up, maybe do some sort of Skyrim dwarven design or just cut something cool out and make it glow from the inside. That's why I left one side empty. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Just have some fun. But until I see you guys in the next one, peace. Ooh, this book smells really good. I just got this. It's my Christmas gift to myself. To keep track, to write down all of the prep work I do for my videos. Mm, it's a lot of fun.